Okay, so in this Android Studio tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create this random password generator. So you just click on the button and it provides you a new password. And I also edited it a slightly so it would actually include a hidden word, anything you put in. Like I just wrote secret as an example, but you can put any word you prefer. And it just inserts it randomly somewhere inside these random letters and characters. But yeah, that's what we'll be making. So let's go and get started immediately by going to our res file and going to layout and clicking on our activity main. And right here, I'm just gonna copy and paste in my uh, relative layout from earlier. And as you can see, it's just a regular relative layout with a regular text view that says uh, tap to generate with the ID of TV text. And I also included that select all on focus is true and text is selectable so the user can easily copy the password upon generating the password. And also there's gonna be a button which I named uh, BT underscore generate and then I just placed it below the TV text. And uh, yeah, it's a straightforward button in uh, text view. So uh, yeah, and after you're done uh, copying all of this or writing this down or creating your own, we're gonna go to our project and we're gonna create a new Kotlin class. And we're just gonna call it password generator. And in here we're gonna write all the logic for our password generator. But first you wanna get started by typing in all the characters you want to show up inside the password generator. And uh, for me, I just will copy and paste what I had earlier because it's a very long uh, list uh, of, of uh, characters. So you have lowercase, uh, uppercase, numbers, and some symbols. You can put in whatever you like and it will generate them. But right below that, we're gonna go and create a function which is gonna be called uh, function generate password. And we're gonna write length, which is gonna be assigned as an int. And we're gonna also include a special word, which is the secret keyword that I just put in. And it's gonna be of type string. And we're gonna default it to an empty string. Then we want to return a string. And uh, that's all for that section there. Then we're gonna go ahead and create a string builder. So I'm gonna do value SB equals string builder of length length, the one that we inserted up there. And finally, we're gonna create a for loop. So it's gonna be for x in zero until the length. We will create a new random character and append it to our string builder. So to do that, we'll try uh, random uh, value random is gonna equal characters. So it gets the whole list of characters and indices uh, however you pronounce that, we'll just get all the characters and make sure it's inside the range so you don't get an out of range exception. I will type random on that. And finally we got sb.append and we will write the characters and we will insert it at the index of random. So each time it will pick a random letter and it will append it to the string. And finally for the special keyword, it's just an extra line of code which says sb.insert and we'll go like this and we'll do zero until length. And we're gonna do dot random. And we will insert the special words at that position. And of course you want to finally return your SB to string. There we go. And that's all the logic you need to create the password and finally, we're gonna to go to our main activity to insert all of that. So first we need to create an instance of our password uh, generator. So we're gonna write value password generator is password generator. And right under that, we can add our button, button generate dot set on click listener. I'm gonna say the value of password is gonna equal, oops, password generator dot generate password. Let's say we want a password of uh, 12 characters and we'll have a secret keyword of uh, coffee or something. And finally, we'll want to assign the text view with our new password. So we'll just write tv underscore text dot text equals the password. I will click on the run button. And as you can see, it says tap to generate. So we'll click on this window to get in focus and we will just create some passwords. And this is very good for creating simple passwords because uh, as you can see, 
it puts any amount of characters of any type in as many times as it needs. If you want to make a more complex password that requires you to have like two characters, two uppercase at least, it will take a little bit more coding, but uh, for very simple passwords that can just be generated like this, it's great. You can insert your own keyword. It sometimes has a lot of symbols, sometimes it doesn't. And as you can see here, there are no numbers, but uh, yeah, simple password generator.